everyone, it's James. And Stephanie. And we're here with Parky, who is a limited edition National Park Foundation Travato. Ooh, that's a mouthful, isn't it? Is, it is, if I got it right. Um, it's occurred to us that a lot of you are very interested in what exactly is in the limited edition National Park Foundation Travato Ooh. package. We need an acronym. <laughs> we do. So we're here to give you a tour of Parky. Now on this tour, we're gonna focus on the things that make Parky special. So things that are in the regular Travato, you can find out more about regular Travato over on the Fit RV website. We have lots of other videos on that. But for this video, we're just focusing on those few special things. Right, and we have the official list that we've got from Winnebago. Yes. So let's get going. First, okay. this is limited to a run of 100 units. Ooh, yes. And I think that is really cool. You know, there's, they're going to hit 100, they're gone, and then they're going to be just kind of like the unicorns out there. Well, you'll know when you see one yeah. going together. But we should probably point out that I know people are ordering these already. Right. So there's fewer than 100 left. Yes. Get, them while you, get them while they're hot. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the other thing that's really cool is Winnebago is making a $250 donation for each Travado National Park Foundation Travado they sell to the National Park Foundation. Right, as if buying a Travado doesn't make you feel good enough already, donating to your national parks should probably help. That's right. Um, now, the National Park Foundation Travado is available in the GL and KL floor plans only. Right. That means it's going to be a lithium coach, but that's okay. Yeah, lithium is awesome. And you want it. <laughs> it also, we should tell everybody about that it's not going to be available in Canada. Yeah, it'd have to be like a limited edition provincial Ooh, park foundation. Which would also be cool. <laughs> would also be cool, but that's that's not what we're doing. Yes, All right. right, so on with the tour. Okay, so now most of the differences between the regular Travato and the National Park Foundation Travato, they're gonna be on the exterior. Right, that's most of the differences, but not all of them. Yes. In fact, the one I think is most important is kind of on the inside, but we'll get to that later. All right, so let's start with the color. So here, Parky, you can see he's granite, and that is the only color that the National Park Foundation Travato is going to be offered in. Yeah, and that's okay, actually, because I think most of the people order the granite color anyway. Right. And that works really well with the unpainted bumpers. Right, so you can't get painted bumpers with a National Park Foundation Travato. And but I like that I because you get a rock chip or something, mm -hmm. there's no paint to chip, right? And the color kind of matches anyway, as right. you can see. Right, So, and also you can see the the uh, abstract design on the exterior. And you know, those, see those little flecks back there, those little triangles? Birds, they're yes. birds. Yes, yes, they're actually <laughs> representing birds and movement in nature. <laughs> and it's yellow, but yes. that's not the only color available. This is called amber yellow, right? Right. right, and there's also going to be a copper color offered. We like the yellow. We're kind We're of partial to yellow. Yes, yes. And there's a lot of great things in nature that are yellow: sunshine, f yellow flowers, and and grasses in the fall. You in know, our own RV. In our <laughs> RV. <laughs> so we think you should buy the yellow, but I guess we'll love you if you get the copper too. Yeah, the Copper Canyon, <laughs> I think, is the name there. Yes. Okay. Um, next change on the outside: uh, the black alloy wheels and BF Goodrich All Terrain TA. KO2 tires. Yes. These are actually the same tires that are on the Winnebago Revel. Right. And right. it was kind of a little bit of a I I expedition for us to get up here where we are right now. <laughs> yes. So we were glad for the tires. Yes, they do come in handy when you're on like for forest service roads or any kind of rough road. Uh, having that kind of tire is very nice. And they actually nice. do pretty well on the highway too, really. They're, right. You would think they'd be loud, they're really not. And plus they just look kind of sporty and rugged. And yeah, if you took regular van wheels and gave them a whole bunch of Red Bull, <laughs> this is what you'd get. <laughs> Ooh, okay. the, the sumo springs, that's, that's right. something we should talk about. Well, in the rear, which a lot of people do on their own, mm -hmm. but also in the front. Yes. Now, the big benefit of sumo springs is, you know, a little bit of ride stability and stuff like that. But we're also going to get with the Sumo Springs like a little bit of a lift. Right. And that's important because, you know, this is meant to take kind of out there. Yeah, so. an extra clearance is definitely a good thing. Okay, so in addition to the to the solar that's on the roof, right. the National Park Foundation Travato is going to come with a 140 watt ZAMP portable solar panel. Yeah, I like that idea that it's portable so you can take it if you need it or if you're just going on a trip where you're gonna be moving a lot and you're not gonna need the solar, you can leave it at home. That's right, that's right. Other things that are optional like the bike rack, the roof rack, stuff right. like that. Those options are also going to be available on a limited edition National Park Foundation Travato. Right, but as options. And same with the windows. Um, right. So they don't come standard with it. That right. would be an upgrade. All right. 
Okay, so next we're gonna go inside, but before we go inside, we wanna show you the screen that they're using on the ah. National Park Foundation. So Trivado. we've previously done a video on this screen. Yes. I think it's the super coolest van screen door ever. I agree. It deploys quickly. And just like that, the screen is in place. Yep. Now from here, it's got a magnetic opening. So you're just gonna walk in and out through this magnetic opening right here. And then it just lashes right behind you like so. That's awesome. Another great thing about this screen is you can open and close the van door. Bye, yeah, Steph. Bye. Look at that. I didn't damage the screen. And the other great thing is when you're in buggy areas, a lot of vans will have a full slider door. You have to open it all the way yeah. to get in and out. And that's no good in buggy areas. So yeah. this works awesome for that. So this is on the side door. Now in the back, yes. Winnebago is going to have their standard snap in screen that, that snaps around the back. OK, so shall we go in? Let's go. All right, come on in. And we're in. Here we go. So this is this is the KL floor plan. Right. And it, you can tell by just looking around the inside, it looks just like a, a standard Travato K floor plan. Yeah, but there are some things in here that like you won't get. I've already made a few mods like you won't get the lagoon table. And I've made an attempt at some hokey bike mounts up by the by the front <laughs> seats. You, you don't you don't want those. Trust me. <laughs> and we also have a mod for our cat litter box in the back. So you, you'll you actually want, have you don't a, want that either. Yeah, you'll actually have another drawer there where we have that mod. But the things that you will get when you get the National Park Foundation Travato are these anything keepers these right things here. Are very, very convenient. I was they I, are. I, I wasn't like I was like, okay, yeah, that's a nice thing. But then when you start to use it and you can just reach up and right, put and your phone stuff. in the thing. Right. Well, it's I have awesome. I have earplugs, headphones, a USB charger, and I usually keep a book up there. So yeah. they're handy. Very handy. Yeah. Also handy mm -hmm. are these RAM tracks that yeah. are mounted all over the thing. So there are lots and lots of accessories. We've got there a uh, what is that? It's an action camera mount. Like right, a it's a GoPro mount. mount. But we also have an iPad mount mm -hmm. and, and a phone mount, all sorts of accessories you can get. Yes. And they've got these ram tracks in various places throughout the coach. Right. And let's see what else. Oh, the floor mat. How could I forget the floor mat? So when I saw the floor mat, I was just like, oh, OK, it's a floor yeah, mat. Yeah, I was the same way. Yeah. But since we have used this, uh, this is my favorite of all the, the little inside mods is this floor mat. First off, it's meatier than it looks. It's um, It's got this felt backing on the It feels like back. there's a little rubber in it, too. Yeah, it's very dense. What I like is that I don't feel as much sand <laughs> on my feet with the floor mat in here. Well, it, it does soften it up in here, and it makes it cozier. So that yeah. was definitely a nice touch. So the touch. floor mat, big thumbs up. But the most important change, the one that will probably drive you to get this National Park Foundation Travato, is the bumped up Pure 3 lithium battery package. Yes, it's 33% larger than a typical Travato. Do you know the, the actual watt hours? 11,600 watt hours of power. Yes. And you probably won't ever use them all, but if you do, this thing charges like a madman. It, yes. It's crazy how yes. fast it charges. It's very impressive how quickly you can drive along and have it recharge. Yeah. So that's going to do it for this quick tour of the limited edition National Park Foundation Travato. Ooh, that big mouthful. But you know, on Instagram, I've been using the hashtag NPF Travato. So if you want to follow Parky's adventures, you can come over to Instagram and look for that. That's right. And if you want to leave comments or have other questions about this, you can follow the link in the description and that'll get you to someplace where you can leave comments. Yes. And I think we're about to continue on our parks tour. We are. So if you're in Colorado, be looking for Parky on your roads. We're coming for you. See you <laughs> later.